on our previous video, we have discussed what is a correlation analysis, ano yung type of relationship ang meron sa mga data, may kinalaman ba yun sa isa't isa, it can be a positive or negative correlation, pwede ding wala. And using the scatter plot diagram, pwede natin ma-estimate yung degree of association of the two variable, depende sa kanyang behavior. Now, let us discuss how to compute the correlation coefficient using the person product moment correlation and its verbal interpretation. Okay, ano nga ba si person R? Person product moment correlation is a statistical tool to quantify the linear relationship between the two variables. The data are parametric. It is first derived by a British statistician named Carl Person. And then the formula na gagamitin natin is we have R equals to N. Ang N po na yan means a population size. Okay, and yung symbol na to is the sigma means the summation or we get the total. Or total. So, ano yun yung mga total or summations na kailangan natin? Kailangan natin summation ni xy, ni x, ni y, ni x squared, at ni y squared. Okay, so sa mga hindi high-tech ang calcul, you can use this uh, pattern on how to input the data or values on your calculator. Okay, so kindly save that pattern. Okay, so sa bawat uh, coefficient correlation, meron tayong verbal interpretation. So, ano na yung mga verbal interpretation natin? So, for example, ang nakuha natin R, R is equals to positive 0 0.52. So, hanapin mo lang po dito yung 0 0.52. So, as you can see, nandito po siya sa ating moderate correlation. Since the value of R is positive, meaning this is a uh, moderate positive correlation. Now, for example, ang nakuha naman natin is negative 0 0.86. Hanapin lang po natin si 0 0.86 sa ating mga values or ranges ng R natin. So, nandito po siya. Okay, very high correlation. Since this is negative, this is a very high negative correlation. Okay, ang mga value ng R natin ay nagre-range lang po yan between positive 1 to negative 1. So, if your computation is 2 point something, there's something wrong with your computation. Take note, ang R lang natin is it ranges from positive 1 to negative 1. Okay, kapag positive 1 naman ang lumabas, meaning this is a perfectly positive correlated. Kapag negative 1 naman, perfectly negative correlated. And kapag 0 ang, ang lumabas sa computation, meaning no correlation or we uncorrelated new atong dalawang variable. Okay, so you can also use this table. Naka-separate na po yung positive and negative dito. Okay, so let's have example. Complete the table to find the value of R. The following data shows the score of five students in math and English. Let us determine the degree of association. So, ang una natin gagawin is to get the and ano yung mga summations na kailangan natin? We need summation of x, ni y, ni x squared, ni y squared, and ni xy. So, meron na tayong x and y. Yung x natin is the scores in math, y natin is scores in English. So, ang n natin dito is 5 because we have 5 students. Alice, Franz, Casey, J, and Mark. So, first is let's get the x squared. Paano natin kinukuha si x squared? Kung tingnan nyo lang po yung column ng ating x, all you have to do is to square each x value. For example, you have 3. 3 squared equals to 9. Okay, 9 squared, 10 squared, 12 squared, 7 squared. So the answer will be this. And then next natin, we have the y squared. Tingin lang po kayo sa column ng y. And then squared nyo lang po siya. So we have 5 squared, 8 squared, 10 squared, 9 squared, 8 squared. So 5 squared means 25, 64, 181, 64, respectively. And then for the xy, all you have to do is to multiply the x and y. So 3 times 5 means 15. 
9 times 8, 10 times 10, 12 times 9, and 7 times 8. Okay, after po nyan, we have to get the total. Total po nung bawat column. Kasi kay, sa formula natin, nakalagay po doon, we need to get the summations. So, kunin lang po natin yung total. So, let's have the total for the x. 3 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12 plus 7. So, we got 41. So, para sa ating x, we have the 41. Next naman is sa y. We have 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 9. I believe, as again, equals to 40. So, we have 40. Okay, next naman natin is the x squared. So, we have 9 plus 81 plus 100 plus 144 plus 49. So, the answer is 383. And next is for the y squared. We have 25 plus 64 plus 100 plus 81 plus 64. So, the answer is 334. And for the xy, column naman tayo ng xy, we got 15 plus 72 plus 100 plus 108 plus 56. The total of is 351. Okay, so now that we got the all the summations, next naman natin is to substitute yung mga summations na yan sa ating formula. So we have 41, 40, 383, and then. Okay, so we have n natin is 5. So 5 times the summation of xy means 351 minus summation ng x is 41. Summation ng y is 40. And then all over okay, square root. Okay, and then we have n natin is 5 times summation of x squared is 383 minus summation ng x is 41 squared. And then n, we have 5. Summation ng y squared means 334 minus the summation of y is 40 and then squared. Okay? And then, pwede nyo na po yan i-compute sa calcul nyo. So, kung wala kayong mga 2-liner calculator, para naman to sa mga may 2-liner calculator. So, first is open parenthesis, 5 times 351, close, minus, ay kahit hindi na po natin siya i-close, minus agad. And then, 41 times 40, close, and then divide. Square root sign, dalawang parenthesis, 5 times 383, minus 41 squared, close, open, 5 ulit times 334 minus open parenthesis 4 squared close and isa pang close and then for, don't forget the equal sign so compute nyo lang po yan sa calc sa calc nyo tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging sagot so gamitin na nat gamit tayo ng calculator para ma-compute natin siya so we have open parenthesis 5 times 351 minus 41 times 40. Okay, and then close. And then divide. Square root sign. Dalawang parenthesis open. 5 times 383. And then close. Minus 41 squared. Pwede na po yung diretso. And then close open. 5 times 334. Minus 40 squared, dalawang close. So the answer, uh, sorry, there is an error. Tingnan natin kung anong error. I think here. Click natin to and then equals. Okay? So magiging sagot natin ay, okay, R is equals to 0 0.8985. 471926. Okay, in correlation, we need two decimal places, so we have 0 0.90. Okay, 